Our Golden Apple crew caught up with one class at an Asian Pacific trade fair, collecting information, making contacts, and building confidence to take back to class, and later back out into the world. Having a vision is really important in the 21st century, no matter what it is you want to do, if you have the courage and the conviction to take the risk to make it happen. Kentwood High School booth number seven. Kids, I think, are over here. Hi. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Hi. We're from a sales and marketing class. Great. From Kentwood High School. We're very impressed with, her, with her, them being here. It's just a really neat experience to be able to talk to business people. Starting your business, what uh, helped you most? I've never been a textbook teacher because I don't think you can learn marketing from the textbook. I think you've got to learn it by actually experiencing it, doing it, participating in it, diving into it. Do we go and talk to them and show them around? Well, I just want you to go in there and see what it's like. Oh. They're having a meeting. They have, they're oh, having a business meeting. I understand. Business so we observe? Yeah. There are no limits to what you can conquer in the global economy. The world you live in will, will be more global than it ever has been. And it will continue to shrink. And exports will become a big, big business no matter what you decide to do with your future. But even though technology is important today, it still is, is a relationship game in, in international business. Do the long distance code. We were faxing at Mozaka High School in Japan. It's like one of our sister schools over there. We know that Levi's over there is really popular, but they pay like 200 bucks for a pair of Levi's. So we're hoping to be able to provide them with Levi's at a lot cheaper price and you know, make them money in the process too. Uh, we're working on exporting Dr. Pepper to European countries, trying to get it in high schools so the kids get a taste of America, so to speak. I noticed that uh, Japanese supermarkets were doing very well and very efficient compared to American supermarkets. So I'm just kind of researching to see what, uh, how their operations differ from ours. And I seem to get hands-on experience with ours since I work down at Safeway at the bottom of the hill. You can get information from Japan on marketing rates right now, or exporting rates, trade regulations, whatever you want. With back to machine, there's just the tools of the future. And we learn how to use them again. The internet, the telephone lines, fax machines, computers, America Online. We can go wherever we want just from sitting in a classroom. OK, we, we contacted uh, <laughs> the consulate of Finland and the embassy. What we're looking to do is to export Starbucks coffee to Finland because it's an Arctic region and because coffee is the second largest internationally traded item. It's not that important to me that they become an international marketer or go out and start a, a company or be a CEO or a vice president. What really matters to me is that they're happy at what they're doing and they, they feel passionate about it. He believes that there's no boundaries for us. And as we all find out, you know, just from being in here, that there aren't. There really aren't. Be a great audience, ask great questions, and take out your laptop computers to take notes. Just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. And to be a, a teacher in the 21st century is going to be a lot different than it was in the 20th century. But the principles of, of people still apply and helping people learn and understanding the importance of, of experimenting and trying new things. So to all the kids that have been involved in our international marketing program at Kenwood High School, they're the reason that I stand here tonight. Because they believe in the vision. They're empowered by it. They're excited about it and they take action every day. Thank you very much for this honor. It's a very appreciative honor for me.